happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Cotterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Semier AM FM portable radio. You can pick this radio up for around 15 bucks or under on eBay and Amazon. I got it because it looked cool. And I think one of my subscribers mentioned it. So here it is Semier. I think I'm saying that right. Radio AM FM. Picture the radio. Batteries AA, band reception. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> See what it says here on the side. I didn't really look at this box. Okay, sensitivity stuff. All right, little side profile there. Frequency ranges. There you go. For the frequency nut in you. Super thin? I don't think so. <laughs> Wait till you see this thing. <laughs> okay. Um, fine tone and louder. Okay. Well, this, I like him fun reading those. That's hilarious. Okay. Same. Other side. Let's open this up. Yeah. I have fun with these inexpensive AM FM radios. You never know. You can get something really cool. Like the De You guys remember that one? Okay. This box is empty, I think. Nothing in there. Uh, this model number is S236, in case you want to know. All right, so we get some paperwork. Let's go over to the fun stuff. Let's say we get a warranty card. Um, looks like a basket holding some books there and like a copper tea or coffee mug. <laughs> it's not easy to meet each other in such a big world. Each. They put a comma there. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let's see what says on the inside. Dear customer, thank you, blah, blah, blah. There's some email address and this WhatsApp thing. I don't use that, but people have asked me about using that. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> um, so here you go. You can review it, I guess. I'm reviewing it, <laughs> but I paid for this one. Um, so there you go. Before leaving a feedback or review, contact it. the customer service. Okay, they wanna make sure they get a good review. It's all about the reviews. All right. Too much time on that. <laughs> Here's a diagram of the radio showing you all the little features. Yay. Boy, I think we can figure this out. Pause. Read. <laughs> it's all in one sheet. I love that. It's real simple. Da -da -da. There we go. We'll go over all that stuff. Fun. Okay, the radio comes in a little thin bag. Kind of El Cheapo, but hey, the radio was cheap. All right. Let's go set this thing down. I'll go over some dimensions here. Uh, as you can tell, it's very unique styling, and we'll <laughs> comment about this unique styling. Um, it's very different <laughs> from my usual fare. Uh, two and three quarter inches across, five inches tall, and a case depth of one and a half inches. Do you see where the one and a half inches comes from? The front of the tuning knob, which is on the front of the radio, to the back of the radio is one and a half inches. Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. <laughs> let's go a size comparison. Uh, let's see, I think I have a CC Pocket laying around here. There we go, CC Pocket. Definitely a bigger speaker there. Look at that bad boy. And uh, let's see. There you go. Size comparable. And then we got the Skywave. Give you an idea. And then we have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. Okay. There you go. Deck of cards. All right. So let's go over features of this awesome radio, or somewhat awesome radio. <laughs> um, Okay, right away you see that wrist strap. <laughs> it's hooked up to the back. It's kind of, I mean, it's kind of cool for hanging this. It's perfect position for this carry strap. But otherwise, yeah, it's kind of weird right there. Um, so let's see. Left-hand side, smooth. It's got very inexpensive silver paint. Um, yeah, it's going to wear off probably pretty quick. But, you know, again, an expensive radio. Um, top of the radio, we have an antenna, which I did not measure. <laughs> yeah. Let's measure it together. So... So you got the tape measure here, and we have an eight inch antenna. Now the cool thing about this antenna, even though it's small, it's actually got a really thick end here. So this is like really, really hard to bend. So I like that style. Uh, I wish more radios did that, it's, it's kind of nice. So they left the diameter larger there, so less likely to bend. Bonus. Okay, front of the radio, you'll notice dial number, this dial. Um, you can see 88 to 108 on the FM and 520 to 1710 on the AM. Um, as you notice, there's a red indicator. This radio is not accurate uh, on the dial. If I want to say FM's off, I think the AM's off also. It's kind of uh, the needle's ahead of the station you're on. But
but uh, it's DSP radio and you tune it by tuning this is the tuning knob here and you just tune it like this it's real smooth um, yeah it's it's a pocket radio with this big old tuning knob <laughs> It's like it looks cool. It's classy looking. I do like it when you see this thing turn on you're gonna love it But it's like when you go to put it in your pocket. I don't know I, this seems really bad design to have this thing hanging here So um, just letting you know that's my thing. You're gonna see this dial lights up amber Awesome. That is an awesome thing. We have a tuning indicator it turns green when we're in tune I believe it's green it might be red and power yeah, this is green. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Power is red. Yeah, because this thing blinds me, <laughs> which you'll see in a second. Speaker, it looks like a two inch variety. So let's go ahead and just measure that real quick. Because I didn't measure it earlier, but there we go, two inch. All right, sweet. And then the brand, Sim, Sim, Simir, I think I said. Yeah, Simir. I think that's I'm saying it right. Here we have the volume. And the volume is uh, just real simple. Uh, there's no on off there. Here's your on off switch which is off, AM, or FM. So you have a middle position, and then you have all the way up for FM. There's that light. I'll show you that in the dark. It's pretty cool. All right, side of the radio, we have the headphone jack. This headphone jack is really good. Um, I'm going to tell you, uh, FM, mono both ears, but it sounds fantastic. There's no noise, uh, so there's no, like, you turn the volume down, you can hear faint stations. Um, really nice. I really, really like that. You can also... When you plug this in, it disconnects this antenna. So your headphones become the antenna. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. My my headphones were okay as the antenna, but when I unplugged it, I know sometimes I got better reception with this antenna. So yeah, it's one of those things. But it is nice that you can plug it in as your antenna, but then I don't know about this being a pocket radio with a big fat tuning knob there. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Tell me in the comments below. Uh, on the back here, you can see how the wrist strap connects, like right in the middle. I mean, I guess that's a cool idea for hanging it. I really like that as far as that goes. As far as the wrist strap, it's long enough, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it works. Yep. I do like to carry the radios like that. Uh, here on the back, you can see it says two-band radio, frequencies. It runs on two AA batteries, which I'll show you. Vented case there. There you go. Pretty generic. You can see they didn't paint the inside. Again, it's under $15 radio. You're going to see under $15 build quality two AA batteries you can see the polarity there the top battery the positive is to the left and the bottom battery the positive is to the right there you go let's go try to put this back together on camera okay there we are so let's go ahead and talk about fm reception and we'll play around tune this radio up um, so fm reception the fm sensitivity was good i found 55 stations awesome um, FM, FM selectivity was okay to good um, because i had a hard time getting those stations uh, a lot of bleed over uh, but uh, yeah, it made it a little difficult to tune. You'll see when I'm tuning the AM band. That's real tricky. Uh, but yeah, again, inexpensive radio, but did a halfway decent job on the FM. So this makes a great FM radio uh, for a portable. I like it. Um, it'll work definitely. And, and the neat thing is it does stand. Uh, I noticed that this table is pitched a little bit, so but this radio will stand, which is a good feature. Some people like to be able to stand the radios up. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and... Turn this on, do some radio tatterbert, do an audio test. I'll show you the light and dark, which looks really cool. Uh, where am I at there? All the way up is FM. Turn this up, see if we can get radio tatterbert tuned in. Where am I running at? 92.1. There we go, let's get in tune. Tuning light, power light. There's that amber light dial, it's kind of cool. I think the Dream Skies do that too. Runs for a few minutes. And for those who don't know, I use a C Crane FM transmitter 2 hooked up to an MP3 player with YouTube sanctioned music, royalty free. Playing through here, transmitting on 92.1 to this radio. Yeah. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this 
sounds like that piano roll. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Yeah, so you got a little taste of the audio there. Got the yeah, idea what this thing looks like in the dark. Pretty cool. Um, makes a neat gift, I think. I think this is going to be... I'm already going final thoughts, but hey, why not? Um, I'll have my little thoughts in here. Make a cool gift, I think, because that lighted dial is really unique. I like that. Like I said, I think the Dream Sky does that too. Just switching off some stuff here so we can do our AM band scan. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this up. Actually, switch bands to AM there. Bottom of the band. Now, this radio isn't fantastic on AM. I'll just tell you right now. It's a good FM radio. You love it for that. You're interesting on the locals. I'll explain it. Semi-locals and all that. Well, you'll probably hear it when I'm tuning. So let's go ahead and just turn this up. Uh, we probably won't need a frequency checker. This will go pretty quick. I have the CC Pocket here. We're going to use as a frequency checker. Uh, it's 5.24 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois, USA. Okay, I'll use that. Let me just turn that on. <laughs> it's jamming. I had it out the other day. That's right. <laughs> Not sensitive. I'm turning it down. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what this little radio can do. During the day, it wasn't fantastic. It was having some problems. And we'll see if we can get the same results. Yeah, why risk losing in a future battle? I'm just fascinated. And, and I'm not picking on you when I say this because, uh, and, uh, Dave, I think you saw some. I don't know who these other due to a point that it's not ideal at all for Trump to assume these emergency powers, but he for this is 560, the, the answer, is Chicago. The Democrats that will do anything and stop at nothing to get their way. They speak right here. <laughs> so on the faint stations, it cuts out. You gotta really try to find the sweet spot. Kind of curious on the if that's 650. All right, let's see what that is. Convention Center. Hey, Liz. Hey. 630. Okay, 630 is CFCO Channel, Ontario. 310 miles. That makes sense. It's the right direction. This is 650 six Nashville, WSM, 434 miles. It doesn't sound fantastic. And virtually anywhere. Because today, innovative companies are reinventing the way business happens. And they need people who can keep up with the expertise and technology. This is a local 670 to score, WSCR. Again, it's good for locals, but when the locals are really strong, you'll see it uh, makes a popping sound. See why we deliver more e-commerce packages to homes than anyone at usps.com slash future. At Pizza Hut, we're more than... The audio's decent. For $5, we're the $5 lineup with wings, Cinnabon, mini rolls, and more. Did we mention the medium Pizza Hut pizzas? Two or more, just $5 each. Ask for Clifford. Terrible, uh, you know, I'm gonna go right to 720. To put things in perspective. Um, continue to just put my best foot forward and and just sleep sleep at night knowing that I did everything in my power this week to go and make that kick. And for whatever reason, at the crossbar and the upright, and I still couldn't I still couldn't do it. So um, hmm. I 100%. It's playing good now, but earlier during the day, the strong stations. If you tuned it right on right on the dead center of the station. Uh, and you're in tune, it would make like kind of a pop crackle sound. Forward. <laughs> Just to be clear, for the future, <laughs> if there is one. Yes. Yeah. I mean, really, if you're a kicker and you just missed the field goal to take your team further in the playoffs, do you really say Chicago? best foot? No. no. No, you don't say that. No, no you moron. Incredible. 
Okay, the music there is 740 CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Yeah, this is not very selective. It's like I said, the AM band's not a great deal. So you can hear that the Beatles are playing, I think. Turn this up. That's cool. It's WSB Atlanta, Georgia. 630 miles. So it can pick them up. It just doesn't sound good. Shutdown drags on that other airports will be missing vital security. As for how long the impasse over a border wall will last, jumps to 780. WBBM, Trump. Chicago. He, he has to decide how much he wants to harm this nation. Um, I've already voted for the Republican bills. I'm willing to vote for them again. Duckworth says she voted for a bill last month that had 1.6 billion dollars in it in homeland security funds. That she says clients come from other money managers so if you're in or nearing retirement talk with us and find out why investors are switching to and staying with fisher investments fisher investments clearly better money management investments in securities involve the risk of loss so this is 820 wcpt juliet illinois find out what we can do for you Protect her home and family in a disaster. Karen was willing to wade through water, mud, and okay. insurance paperwork. It was making that clicking sound, but you probably couldn't pick it up, but I heard it. Um, yeah, so if you buy this radio for AM, you're, it's not fantastic. So just give me a heads up. No matter when disaster strikes, I'm just going to scroll up the dial here. Oh. WCCO, 8.30. Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. Not bad. The CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. Not bad. Wow, it's picking up uh, WWL, New Orleans, Louisiana. 865 miles. So again, this radio was under 15 bucks. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's fun though. This dial is pretty cool. The WLS money report, the Dow today closed up 90. So 890, WLS. It's mixing with 880 a little bit. Uh, WMVP, SPM 1000. As I'm using this radio, this volume knob is getting harder to use. <laughs> I want to give you a heads up. Maybe it'll break in a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to go a little quicker here. What the heck, man, this volume.
Just fades, breaks up. This huge opening here. No frequencies marked. Kind of guess where you're at. Done with the AM. <laughs> Damn, that volume control really got bad. Okay, uh, let's uh, just yeah, right here it kind of grabs. I don't see it touching anything. Yep, yeah, it's just a sign of the quality here. All right, let's uh, try to turn this up. <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> uh, blow your drums out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. We're going to do an FM band scan. Yes, we're going to go FM. Why not? I'm used to use the antenna. See if it picks up anything downstairs here. Uh, make sure my transmitter, everything's off. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and turn this up. This is nice and smooth. In a much calmer way than we've become used to. We'll have the details when we do the number. 4,000 in Israel over the month long conflict. Today, I read two estimates. All battles of cancer or the. Holiday things, and we're going to finish terrorists inside Turkey. Up quite a bit with this little antenna. Not bad. Again, this is a full time position. Candidates can email their resume to recruiting.support team. Pizza Hut, get 50% off all menu price. Pizza. Pizza, yeah. Awesome song. <laughs> experience you'll never forget. Call Black. All right, so there you go. Let's go and turn that off. Let's do final thoughts on this thing. The Semir S236. Okay, is this a buy like under 15 bucks? Yeah, I don't know. You guys have seen the Diogly. I'll put a link to that video up here. 
I think it's awesome on AM and FM. Uh, it does a pretty decent job. Well, FM, not so much. This one's probably better on FM. But it does fantastic on AM, and I'm an AM listener, so it's got to have AM for me to really recommend it. Do I recommend this radio only as a gift to somebody who just wants to have fun on FM, have that cool lit dial, doesn't matter, that it's not going to put in his pocket because of that goofy tuning knob on the front, and hopefully gets one without a volume control that's not barely movable. <laughs> this thing is barely... I'm really pushing this to get this to move. So there's something going on with this here. Uh, yeah, this is definitely... Uh, something defective here on the volume control. So, uh, okay, well, yeah, get one, but make sure you can return it easily like Amazon. Amazon's your best way to go on this radio. Uh, if you really dig the light dial and you dig the FM, because, I, I mean, it does sound good. Uh, the speaker, two-inch speaker, sounds fantastic. Um, and like I said, it's under 15 bucks. Uh, if you want to give it a shot, I'll put a link below if you just want to see how it is. But, yeah, definitely buy it off Amazon because it's easier to return on eBay typically uh, because they have that Prime. You just... You know, say it's defective, and then they'll give you a label, and you just put it on your doorstep, and they pick it up. It's that easy to return it, for me anyway. Um, I don't know about you guys, but that's how it works for me. Uh, so, yeah, this radio here, um, yeah, it's, it's an iffy. It's a maybe buy because uh, of the issue with the volume. But, again, it might just be this particular radio. I mean, because the Chinese radios, you'll get one that's a bum unit. You'll get one that's awesome. You might get one that's, you know. The FM works crappy or works great. And the AM might be different than my experience. But overall, for under 15 bucks, for novelty, to have a lit dial and the FM working well, good sounding speaker, it gets a maybe buy, definitely. But if you want AM and you want a nice pocket radio, check out the Diogly radio, which is like, I think, under 12 bucks. So, and uh, like I said, I'll put a link for that Diogly radio down there too. Very popular. A lot of people bought those. They like them, definitely. All righty, guys. Well, if you enjoyed the presentation of this uh, C. Uh, what do I call this one? Semir. <laughs> Keep trying to. Yeah, it's just a weird spelling. S two three six. Give you a big like. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you like these cheap radios and you're wondering about how good they are, hit subscribe at the bell icon. I try to buy uh, one every now and then to review, so you guys have an idea what these uh, are capable of. And then three comment below. We think about this wonderful product in the comment section. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care, and we'll see you next video.